Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Nicole and today we are going to be reviewing some new perfumes I got in. Some affordable perfumes. Some Middle Eastern perfumes. It's not a lot, just a few. I just wanted to share you guys, share with you guys the new perfumes that I got in. Let's jump in, shall we? So, I have been seeing this buzzing, buzzing, buzzing on TikTok, because y'all know I'm on TikTok now. I, I'm on TikTok, but I'm not really on TikTok. It's a long story. Anyway, I'm on a TikTok shop for sure. Anyway, Mystique Bouquet. So this is supposed to be a dupe for um, Parfum de Marley's Valaya. I have never smelled Valaya. I would love to smell Valaya. Is it Valaya or Valaya? Y'all correct me in the comments. I, uh, the way it's spelled, it looks like it should be pronounced um, Valaya to me. It might be Valaya. Tomato, tomatoes. Anyway, so I picked this up because I've always wanted Valaya. But, y'all, I'm not trying. Y'all know I'm not trying to spend them coins. <laughs> I ain't getting it unless I get a good deal on it. But look at that. Isn't she pretty? Okay, that's so pretty. And then they got the little flowers in the inlet or inset. That's really pretty. We like that. But the bottle itself is even gorgeous. Oh, it's giving extravaganza on a budget. <laughs> and we like that around here. It got the green to the blue ombre. Love it. Love it. I got my little notes here, so if I keep looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes. But let's give this a spray. And this is a nice, heavy bottle, too. This got some weight. I like how it's, like, diamond cut. This is so pretty. And I've had this already. I had these fragrances for some time, and I've sprayed them. Not really had a good smell of them, so this is going to be, like, our first time. I had these fragrances for about maybe three weeks. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. And look at the, huh? The mist on that atomizer. That is beautiful. So this is set to be a bright floral. It has a touch of sweetness to me. It's not really sweet. This is more of a, um, a floral, slightly woodsy. This has some woodsiness to it, to me. It's a little um, musky, but not much. Let's go over the fragrance notes. So it states that it has, um, the top notes is white peach, mandarin orange, bergamot, lychee, uh, the mid is peony, orange blossom, vetiver, and mahonia. Not sure what mahonia is. Um, the base is musk, oak moss, and vanilla. Now, this smells so good. As it's drying down, you get that peach. And we all know white peach. Well, maybe we don't. But white peach isn't as juicy or uh, fruity forefront like you know, your regular yellow peach. Mmm, girl, that white peach is smelling delicious. Oh, this smells so good. I do not know what the longevity is, but um, watching some of the other reviews on this, they say it lasts about uh, between four and six hours. So place your bets on about five hours. But this is so good. Ready. Oh, I'm so glad. This is right in time for the spring and summer months. And you know I am trying to, <laughs> to um, build my little stash for the spring. I think this is it. This may be my last round for the spring. And then I'm going to be jumping into summer stuff. But this smells gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait to wear this. 
And as it's drying down, it just keeps getting more and more in depth. Mm, that vanilla is starting to come out now. Mm, girl, this is beautiful. Oh, Mystique Bouquet. And this is by the House of Afnan. I don't think I have any fragrances. Um, any other fragrances by Afnan. If you guys have any fragrances um, by Afnan or even have this one, let me know what you think of it. And do you have um, PDM Valaya? Valaya. Also, and is this actual an actual dupe? Do you think this is an actual dupe as well? Another one that I picked up is um, Red Velvet by the House of Mysan Azrar. And that's so cute. So let's see what this is looking like. Again, I opened these already. But it's... Now this... Friends, you see this? I mean, and I'm holding it in place so it won't fall. But can I, can, family, we family, right? We, right? Judge free zone. Can I tell y'all what I get from this, this whole packaging right here? This is giving coffin to me. Anytime. <laughs> It's the, this silkiness that be in the back, back here. I don't know. It just reminds me. It gives me coffin vibe. I don't want to think coffin, but that's what I get from it. I know they trying to be creative. They couldn't put some velvet back there or some, you know, some crushed velvet, something. <laughs> all right. All right. I digress. Sorry. So yeah, that's the box that it has come in. And this is the fragrance. Now, this is pretty. It got it. Got a little belly chain on or whatever. This is really pretty. I love how they have it dressed up like that with its little jewels or whatever. That's pretty. And this is another heavy bottle. This is a nice weighty bottle. It got the little gold on the bottom, little gold feet or whatever. That is so cute. Let's see. The top is plastic. As the as the other one is as well but this one friends they are saying is a dupe for Burberry her now if you've been watching me for a while you know I am NOT the greatest fan of Burberry her I know I know you all are in love or most of you are in love with Burberry her but it's something screechy girl this is so pretty <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold the line. Oh, my God. It's the greediness in me. This is so fruity, juicy, so sweet. This fragrance is a cocktail in a bottle. You yeah, know, this, to me, has Burberry Her beat. I'm sorry. I don't even care for Burberry Her like that, but this right here, and they said it. They TikTok said this was better than Burberry hair, and they never lied. Friend, girl, let me let me let y'all see the the. Oh, you see that? Do you see the atomizer? I love it here, girl. Let's get into some fragrance notes because this is just too good to be true. Uh, the fragrance notes is red fruit. Really. Okay, red fruits, strawberries, oranges. The mid is violets, jasmine, orris, and the base is vanilla, lichen. Lichen, I did some research. Lichen is like, um, kind of like oak moss. It helps the fragrance adhere to the skin. Um, and musk. Girl. This right here. Now this this is going to move into my summer, my summer fragrances. I'm, I'm telling you right now, this smells so fruity, delicious. This is a cocktail. This is your, oh Lord, this is your fruit basket cocktail in a bottle. This is beautiful. This smells like a fresh fruity cocktail. 
Mm, it has some florals in it, yes. But I do not get any violets. I don't get any jasmine. This is a fruit. This is just a, a, a fruit basket. I kid you not. Oh my God. I gotta put this on my skin. I gotta put this on my skin. Girl. Oh, it smells so good. I can't make this up, friends. Woo, woo. So Red Velvet by the house of my son, Azrar. You nailed it. I, now I need to know what other stuff they have in their house. Because, girl, this is beautiful. Mm. It does have that Burberry Herd DNA. I, I'll give them that. It absolutely does. But that screechiness that I get at the beginning of Burberry Hair, because don't get me wrong, Burberry Hair smells amazing when it's, it has dried down. Um, I just think it was overhyped, so I never really got into it. But it's a, it's a beautiful, fruity fragrance. I like the perfume oil of Burberry Hair better than I like the actual perfume. But this red velvet, this dupe, girl... One time for the Arabians, for the Middle Eastern folks that's coming out with these dupes, because I'm telling you, they get they get in my money every time. Every time. And the next one, girl, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Before we move on to the next one, this is, this is delectable. I can't make this up, friends. I'm not. This is so beautiful. And I just can't wait until it sits on more because once it macerates, because you know, these Middle Eastern fragrances, you got to let them sit for a while. They, You know what I'm saying? You let them sit for about a month or so and they come, they show up and they show out. And if you let them sit any longer or even longer, it's over for these uh, designer fragrances. And why, why, why would I spend my coins when I could get dupes like this? I don't know about y'all, but I'm about to move to Dubai. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm so silly. Anyway, so the next one that I got is supposedly a dupe for Greenwich Village by Bond Number no. 9, and that is Avenue London. And I have a sample of Greenwich Village. Let me go and get it, friends. Hold the line. Hey, friends, I am back. I went to get my little sample of Greenwich Village from bond number nine. So let's go ahead and open up the package. Again, I sprayed this one out too. I wanted to get some air in them so I could get a more, um, I guess, a more accurate, um, Account for them, I guess. A more accurate vision that they were going for. I don't know. Y'all get it. Y'all understand me getting my notes. Let me get a tester strip. I'm sorry. I'm feeling so unprepared now. Did I show y'all the bottle? Girl, this bottle is so cute too. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And then it got the little indents on the side for ergonomics. I love that. This is gorgeous. So, and who's this by? This is by the House of Grandeur Extreme Compliments. I've never heard of them either. But and this top look like it's marble almost. Can you guys tell that? This is pretty. And it has a little weight to it as well. That's real marble or granite or some type of stone, friends. <laughs> they went all out for this. And I got most of these. I ordered this from a company called Say Yes Fragrances and the others. Um, I got this one from Mystique Bouquet. I ordered from Amazon. And Red Velvet. 
I got from TikTok. So let's give this one a sniff. Girl, no. No means no. Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. So not a bad sprayer. I mean, could be bad. Wait, you just wait one minute. Oh my God. That smells so, when I tell you it's filling the room, it's filling the room. And what I'm getting is, oh, like some, it's not really fruitiness, but it has some sweetness. Almost like jasmine or something is in it. What is that? We're going to go over some notes. Hold on. Okay, so this is bond number nine. And this is Avenue London. Friends, save your coins. Get this. Just get this. It's a ever so slight difference. And let's go through it. Let's see. Ever so slight. This has like a tinge, like a tinge of sweetness more. But when I say you could be walking down the street wearing Avenue, London, people are going to think you're wearing Greenwich Village. I can guarantee it. Girl, let's go over some fragrance notes. Oh my God. This has uh, notes of Lychee, Cassis, Mandarin Orange, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Water Lily, Peony, Jasmine. Ooh. And it has like this tropical-esque about it. So I'm thinking it might be from the Water Lily. But then in the base, it has some Ambroxan, Praline, Vanilla, and Musk. And lastly, Oak Moss. Girl, this... Oh, they did it. They did it. It's, it's sort of aquatic... But it's, it's warm at the same time. Like, it's so, I can't explain it. Let me get my thoughts together because it's everything. It's like ambery because it's kind of warm. But then it's, it's like vibrant at the same time. And then it has that, that sweetness. And I, I guess the sweetness is coming from the, the lychee and the mandarin orange because well, it has some praline. Girl, this is good, okay? This is good. This is for somebody who got their life together, who <laughs> don't have a worry in the world, or their bills is paid on time. Ain't no payment arrangements over here, honey, because why? Why would I wear this? And I'm on a payment arrangement. No. Mm -mm. Girl, this is so sophisticated and classy to me. Shout out to my supporter that put me on to Greenwich Village in the first place. Shout out to you, sweetie. Honey, you did that. You did that. And again, I got this from Say Yes Fragrances, and I believe it was like $30, okay? Oh, and I also got a, um, a sample from my son, Azra. So this came with the red velvet. Look how cute it came. It came in this little sash with its little um, stars in the moon. Isn't that cute? I think that's cute. So let's see. It came with a little card. What does the card say? Gracias por su comprar. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you for your purchase. Gracias por tu comprar. That's all I know, friends. For now. <laughs> okay, so what's the name of this? This is Party Girl Night, it's called. So let's see what this is given. So I don't think this is from the house of my son. I think maybe the company I got it from on the TikTok shop. And I'll put it in the description box. Um, they may have their own fragrances. Be nice if I took the top off. So let's see. Hmm. It's not bad. 
It's um, it has some citrus. I wish it came with some fragrance notes, cause it doesn't smell bad, but it smells. It's not unique. It's not something that I want a full bottle of. No. It's it's giving cleaner esque. It smells kind of like it wants to be. A, a juicy couture fragrance, but then they didn't have all the ingredients. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm. This is just my thoughts on it. Yeah, this isn't something I would want. It, um, you can tell it has a little vanilla in it, but ever so slightly. And maybe even some um, pineapple or some some kind of citrus fruit. But yep. Yeah. This is not for me. And that's it, friends. I just wanted to share with you what I got new, my um, my spring fragrances. I think this is it for spring. Don't quote me on it. I'm trying to make this it for spring. But, child, I got carts everywhere. I got carts everywhere. <laughs> I got carts everywhere. Somebody come and stop me. But anyway, friends, let me know what perfumes you picked up for the spring. Do I need to grab what you have? And do you have any of these that I have? Let me know if you have any of these fragrances. I am so interested in knowing what, what are your thoughts on them. And if you have not subscribed, please think about subscribing and become a part of the family. We would love to have you here. Thank you so much again to all my supporters, all my day ones. I love you so much. To the next time, friends. Understanding, you respected every boundary. You're so exciting, wasn't expecting.